First of all, I thank our management for giving this wonderful opportunity to enhance our knowledge and skills. Today, I am here to share about Mr. Oliver Blooms, who is the CEO of Volkswagen Group as well as Porsche. He is a German and was born on 6th June 1968 at Braunschweig city in Germany. Currently, he was 55 years old. In Germany, people used to pronounce as Volkswagen instead of Volkswagen. After graduating from high school at Braunschweig, Mr. Blooms studied mechanical engineering at the Braunschweig University of Technology. He entered the automotive industry through the international training program held in 1994 in Audi AG and then worked as a planner for the body and paint shops. After three years, he took over the management of the body shops for the Audi A3 and then in 2001, he completed his PhD thesis to receive his doctorate in vehicle engineering from the University of Tongji at Shanghai. And in the same year, he was appointed as an assistant to the board of management of Audi AG for production. After that, from 2003, he managed the Audi pilot plants across all sites. In 2004, he moved to the Barcelona as a head of planning and pilot series center at Seat Company. And then, he became the head of production planning for the Volkswagen brand in 2009. After that, in 2013, he took over the responsibility as the member of executive board for production and logistics at Porsche. As a member of the executive board for production and logistics, he had adopted this principle like no one else had qualified himself for the chairman post. In view of his especially high technical expertise and his outstanding team working ability, we have found the best possible successor to the Matthias Mueller in Oliver Blooms, said Dr. Wolfgang Posch, who is the chairman of the supervisory board. Bloom records the team spirit and the commitment of his employees are the crucial factors in the success that he has been able to achieve for the sports car maker. When he took up the responsibility as the member of the executive board for the production and logistics, the post was facing groundbreaking challenges. The sports car maker has launched two extremely successful products onto the market with the Macon and 918 Spider models. Since 1st October 2015, Mr. Blooms has served as a CEO of Post AG. The supervisory board of the company appointed him to this position on 30th September 2015 in replacement of Matthias Mueller who became the CEO of Volkswagen Group. So the conclusion comes here as that every person faces challenges and problems in their career. But the person who faces those problems with their knowledge and skills became the successful businessman. So everyone be ready to get success in this world by using your knowledge and management skills. Thank you all.